Hello everybody, happy Monday to you out there. It's another edition of Mark's Monday Minutes for September 26th. Newsflash, this is fantastic news for buyers looking for a house with four car garages or more. There are twice if not three times as many homes as we just had three weeks ago that have a four car garage or larger. That's right, there's 39 out of 122 homes in the entire Portland metro area with a four car garage or larger that are under $1 million. That's right, a third, almost a third of those homes are under a million dollars. They're affordable garage homes. In fact, there's a great one right now in Tigard, right just over $600,000 with a two car garage and a four car garage and a regular three bedroom, two bath house. If you're interested, reach out to me for more information. Okay, let's get started on the weekly report. Just this time I'm gonna bring my summary to the beginning because I always run through the numbers and I seem to lose people. Demand phenomenon, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a de phenomenon of demand that is keeping prices constant. It's been arching up consistently for the last four years. It seems to have leveled off counterbalanced by interest rates. Why is this? What it means is that demand and scarcity together, typically you have it demand and supply. Demand is currently high, supply is low. We're staying there. We're not seeing a decrease in demand substantially, although we're starting to see small signs, and we're definitely not seeing an increase in supply to any noticeable or neg it's a negligible amount. As long as those two levels stay far apart, we will maintain pricing that if nothing else remains flat into 2023. Let's talk about the numbers and I'll explain why. So the active number of listings this week, 4,333, just an insignificant difference from 4,370 last month, or last week, rather. New listings, 534, that's down almost 85 listings from the previous week before. And the number of pending homes, 502 in the last week. In the last week, 414 homes sold. So we are seeing a slight surplus. The number of new listings coming on is going up while the number of sold homes is tracking. That creates a slight surplus. The difference in that surplus over the last now six weeks, if we were to use that to get us back to pre-COVID levels, it would take 19 months, 19 months of no changes to get us back to that level of pre-COVID 2019 level. So, it's not going to make a big difference anytime soon. Now, the number of homes that have had a price adjustment, many of these are the homes that came on in late June and July. They're finally seeing a price adjustment, 1,374. That's 31.7% of our current listings in Portland that have had a price adjustment. Compare that with the 41.2% nationwide. So Portland's ahead of the curve. We're not having as many price reductions as other parts of the country. Clearly, Austin, Phoenix, Utah, I mean, all these other hot markets, Florida, Arizona, Texas, Idaho, these are markets that were just so red hot are finally now slowing down. They're having price adjustments. Some were upwards in Idaho of over 60% because so many homes came to market. And face it, when you're doing 110 miles an hour, anything you slow down is a slowdown. Even 100 miles an hour, you're still going to get a ticket. We've mentioned that before. All right, coming soon listings. We've got 30 homes that I know of that are coming available in the next three weeks. If you're interested in getting more home and the, more information on those homes before the rest of the world does, reach out to me, let me know, and I can get you that information. Number of sold homes in the last 30 days, 2021. Compared against the active total of 4,333 gives us just over two months of inventory. If we had no new homes come on the market, it would take us 2.07 months to sell all the existing homes. That's pretty good. A normal market would be closer to three to five months, but two months is good. A little more inventory for buyers. All right, we mentioned it earlier, the number of four car garage homes or larger. Currently 122 homes on the MLS that have a four car garage or larger, 39 of which are, again, under $1 million in the category of affordable. Nine of those homes are new this week. 12 of last week's numbers went pending and two sold in the last week. One was over a million, one was under a million. The total number of homes with a four car garage sold in the last 30 days, 27, 11 of which were under a million dollars. So we're looking at roughly four and a half months of inventory for garage homes. Again, 
better for selection because even just four weeks ago, we were down three, even two months worth of inventory in these large garage homes, many of which were over a million dollars. And it's a different segment of the market than the affordable garage home. In fact, just four weeks ago, the affordable garage home segment, the number of homes with a four car garage under a million dollars, three weeks inventory. That was it. They were selling out so fast. So just in four weeks, it has changed dramatically. Lots of opportunity for buyers. Now, what are we seeing? Some small changes I'm starting to see in the market. And these are just little changes. This is how markets shift, how you turn the course of the Titanic. Last, what we're seeing is buyers are more sensitive to changes in interest rate. As the interest rate goes up, buyer, the number of available buyers are removed from the buyer, from the market. Simply, some buyers can no longer purchase at that price point that they were looking. Okay. The next step that follows is that sellers make price cuts. They make a price adjustment because the buyer activity has dropped off. Therefore, they make a price adjustment. Ultimately, the next step would be that the amount of inventory increases. Again, each of these is a small step. It's a small turning course correction, if you will, overall. Buyers are the first to respond. Sellers are later to respond. It's important to understand whether you're considering to sell or purchase, think about where you are. There are some buyers out there looking for opportunities. They're going to find them for the sellers who've come around to that point. They've made their own course correction, perhaps a little faster than the rest of the regatta. But there are sellers who are absolutely steadfast on that course of direction. Hopefully we can keep them off the rocks. Buyers, there's an opportunity. Again, more, more four car garage listings. Sellers, think rationally. Your goal, if you want to sell in the current market, let's get you to the point where you're ready and prepared and able to sell on a course that fits your timeline and your destination. That's it this week. Have a wonderful week. See you all next week.